Wobble wobble wobble, this is downtown Adrian J. With yet again the kicking his sounds in London town. And this is the Christmas edition. Don't move your dial. What's happening on a Sunday? Uh, okay. Hey guys, this is a um, video response to. Five, four, three. Guys, wobble wobble two. wobble, back again in full effect. Um, the next show. part of my garage project, I, as if you remember rightly, I got the Mastercraft tall garage cabinet from the previous um, part. So, because it was such a good product, and please look at the previous video, links down there somewhere, I decided to get the next set of the, uh, the Mastercraft cabinet, which is some wall cabinets. So I'm going to show you those. So here we go. Sorry for the tipping on the side, I don't like usually doing this. Now these were usually 169 plus, uh, plus stealth, um, but uh, Canadian Tire were doing them a special deal with Black Friday for 99 bucks each. So I saved myself nearly 200 bucks. So I was going to get two, but I decided to get three. So the three are going to go up here. So my next stage is to get all this stuff back here and then unpack the parts make sure everything's there and then start assembling so as usual stay tuned and we'll get into that now okay so um, I've unpacked everything and just want to show you there's a template they fitted so that's going to help when I put it up on the wall immaculately packed as usual uh, these are the parts what I decided to do as usual it's always a good idea so if you watch my other video put all the parts in order so you know where everything is um, and I've checked the parts they're all there and they're all, all got that immaculate little uh, stampy bit on so all the packaging that was in there to protect it and uh, we've got all these uh, lovely little pieces uh, Allen keys the, as usual, we have a high, high quality magnetic screwdriver. Those are all the bits in there. So uh, next thing we're going to do is uh, start assembling. So uh, we've started, made a start on this. So uh, we've got the two um, pieces uh, together the back. This is the, the top piece and the side piece. Make sure that these, uh, and it's good, it's upside down, but uh, the, uh, it has, an, it has an arrow here saying the front, so make sure that's facing the front. And this has also got an arrow saying this is the front, secured by three screws in there. Uh, methodical. Because I've got three uh, boxes uh, of these, all the compartments are the same. So I've used these compartments, if you remember from my previous uh, video, to store the parts. Uh, so, but what I've done is I've put the, the numbers of the labels where the screws are, so that's 10, 11, 12, part 12 and 15, and here and here, just to keep them all in one place, uh, so it's just easy to get. I'm going to put my OCD, so that tends to help. I also want to show you, like the other stuff, they've given us spare, spare screws, woohoo! Right, right, so I'll uh, put the, uh, the sides and the bottom, and uh, it's actually good to use the screwdriver they uh, uh, given you because if you see, it's a bit difficult to get them in with a normal screwdriver. Hey guys, right, so um, the next stage is to get these uh, down. So I'm going to take these uh, brackets and things off and some of these screws look like they're a bit uh, rounded so I want to try and get these off because the, um, the recommended height is, 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 it doesn't necessarily need to be that height but the recommended height for the space of the, the cabinet is 63 inches which is about here so I've got to fit uh, a backing plate to here onto the studs. So let's try and get these things off first and uh, we'll see how we go. Oh 
I've measured with my, uh, my measuring tape the height that the bottom of the cabinet is going to be, which is approximately there, 63 inches. Now, when you're measuring on walls, it's not necessarily going to be square. So if you measure from here to there, it might be 63 inches, there to there, there to there, it might be sloping down. So the best way to do it is get, to say, two marks, one here, one here, or say several marks. And then what you need to do, I've already done this, but I just want to show you. So I'm lucky enough to have these. You put them roughly on where the mark is. Okay? And so you might have them going down. Put your spirit level on here. Use one of these, which is the, the back one. Then modify this up or down till you have it uh, horizontal, so your spirit line is there. So um, you don't want your uh, you don't want your cabinets going down and out. Hey, so now what we're going to do is going to take these off, and we with the kit is provided some of these uh, raw plugs. I call them raw plugs, and we need to put them into there. So um, what I'm I was thinking about this last night, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one because once you've drilled holes, you've drilled holes and I'm going to keep making my place look like spaghetti. So I'm going to fit one up and see how that goes, maybe maybe do two and see how they, uh, how they fit. Well, I don't know. I'll see how it goes. Anyway, that's the next step. Should hook up like this. Boom shakalak. And uh, I haven't put the other screws on there, but I reckon that'd be okay. There's uh, a teeny bit of a gap there, so that's fine. Spirit level. Oh, so it's time for a cup of, cup of tea and then I'll Bang on. The good thing with having two bars is that the weight is spread evenly across those uh, across those screws. The nice big old fat screws which go in here. So we're uh, pretty. Let's get this on here. Yeah, that's okay. And then the other one will marry up next to it. So the spacing is okay so far. So I'll put the second one together. The second one was a lot quicker and faster than so I knew what I was doing. On the, uh, on the bottom and the back screws, I uh, put some um, thread locker. Let's get this up there and see if it's okay. Okay, so I've uh, 
um, finish the third. I finished the third one. So let's get this bad boy up there. Uh, we've got to put these um, these hinges on. I found that the metallic uh, the um, these are magnetic, and I dip it into the um, the thread locker. Keeps your hands clean. Because the last time I was doing it, it was uh, getting all over my hands. Oh, here we go. Just start it off. You don't really need the thread locker. I like doing that on certain parts just to think. And we get our uh, there we go. There we go. Next bit is a little bit ambiguous. We're putting these uh, things on, which are for the. Um, for the uh, for the doors, I'm um, using these special screws. They've kind of got a, a washer in, and they don't tighten up to catch on here. And I do hope I'm reading these instructions right. If they are a wee bit ambiguous because you, you can put them on two ways, and I'm sure I'm doing it right. So. We'll see. I managed to get the uh, doors on, these doors on, and it was a pain. The screws are under here, you can see? And they're not the best Put to another, uh, another screw in there. Again, it's a, it's a fiddly job. If you're doing it on your own, you really need two people. Um, you can put this on, the, do this and then put it up, but then you, you're gonna have a problem, or if, especially if you're doing it on your own. Well, it swings and roundabouts, right? And then finally, what you wanna do you have these uh, Allen keys, tighten it up, and it keeps this uh, uh, kind of a tight. So basically when you uh, open it, it will stay up. And I have to monitor that. I mean, generally it doesn't stay up for a long time. These feel a bit flimsy, but I don't know. It seems a bit okay. Seems a bit uh, wobbly, but we'll see how it goes. And that's it. And there we go, three master craft cabinets. A lit, and exactly how I wanted it, it's covered up that thing. We've got my Mastercraft cabinet there. Yeah, it's not too bad, let's have a, a closer look. Nice feel, not coming down anytime soon. It's nice, not too bad. Open it up, kaplam, kaplam, kaplam. Put my uh, I don't know, chemicals or whatever in there, just keep things off the floor. There you go. So from yours truly, the BJ and Jay, I hope you uh, liked this exciting episode of my garage build. I've lost track of the numbers. I only know the numbers when I go back on YouTube. So like and subscribe. See you next time. Oh, and I probably won't get anything done till uh, next year now. So I want to wish you guys a um, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Stay fresh in 2017. Don't go away. Don't move your dial. We out of here. Like a teeth in the night. God bless you. See you next.